Hi, this is Dan from Real Max Software, and today I wanted to show you how Squash is not only good at squashing JPEGs, but it can also squash many other types of files as well. Um, so I've launched Squash already, and I'm going to get started by just dragging on a standard JPEG, and Squash will go ahead and do its thing. And there we go, and it's finished, and you'll see it's uh, managed to squash 8.6 meg out of that file. And there's two ways we can save this file. Either we can click Save Image, or we can just hold and drag to the desktop like that. Um, and if we get info on those two files, let's just check, you'll see the original is 10.6 megs and the squashed file is 1.9 meg. So that's a pretty good saving there. Right. Anyway, uh, so I've got some other types of files here. So I've got a, a raw file, a PSD, a TIFF, and a PNG. Um, and all of these can be uh, dragged onto Squash. So I can take this raw file, drop it on, and again, it'll do its thing, and squash it into a JPEG. Again, I'll drag it back out, and you'll notice from 43 meg right down to 1.8 meg. Uh, and we obviously don't need to do these files one by one, so I'll show you uh, these two. We'll just drag on a couple of images, drop them here. So we've got one Photoshop file and one TIFF file. There we go. And it's managed, those combined, it's managed to squash 193 megs out of them. So we'll drag them to the desktop again. And there they are. Um, now with PNGs, you can obviously compress the PNG to make it a smaller PNG. Uh, but I often find um, I don't want to send large PNGs around uh, because this uh, little screenshot is 11 megs on its own, uh, which is a lot, especially if you just want to share it in Slack or uh, on Twitter or something. Um, so I'm going to switch this, I'm going to come into the preferences and I'm going to switch on the convert PNGs into JPEG option. Uh, and you'll notice we've got a quality setting here. The 60% quality has been applied to all the images we've already done. Uh, I'm going to leave it on 60 because that's a pretty good middle ground. Um, a good compromise on quality and file size. <clears throat> right, so let's close that down and I'll take the PNG, drop it on. Squash will do its thing and hopefully this will squash it into a JPEG for us. There we go. So we've got a PNG and a JPEG um, and the size in those, uh, the difference in size is dramatic. So you'll see 11 meg right down to under a meg, which is perfect for sharing online. Uh, so there we go. Um, Squash can handle many other types of files uh, and this has just been a little quick overview to give you an idea of how versatile uh, Squash actually is. So I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.